Good afternoon. My name is Andrew Kuhn. I wanted to take a moment to give an update about the Shelbina United Methodist Church, where we're stand and, and what we're doing next as we continue to work out uh, this particularly challenging season. The uh, Shelbina Methodist uh, Church's board met last night and, and we uh, came to the following conclusions. We will continue to provide videos uh, every weekend, a video which contains uh, sermon readings, the, the scripture, prayer, uh, we will continue to send out uh, written uh, versions of this to everyone who is homebound, everyone who is in a nursing home, anyone who does not have internet access, and that uh, we will begin to gather in person for worship beginning on March 24th at 10 a.m. The way we will do this is we will gather in our uh, the parking lot of our fellowship hall using, uh, everyone can bring your lawn chairs, Keep your lawn chairs six foot apart, and as you walk up, there'll be a, a stand where you can use the hand sanitizer and then pick up a, a sheet of paper with the lyrics to hymns, and there'll be an offering plate as well. And, and this is the way we, we believe we will be able to have worship together, and we'll be able to do it in a way that will truly feel like worship and a way that we won't be annoyed at during the entire process of, of, of gathering. Uh, we, and then, if weather is not conducive to doing this, we'll call off worship the Saturday night before. We'll announce that via email and, and Facebook. Now, we came to this decision that this was how we wanted to do this. Uh, by we, we went to the fellowship hall and we gathered together under the conditions that would be necessary for us to be able to worship in the fellowship hall as sort of a dry run. And so we sat with our chairs six feet apart. We, I, I recommended the people please wear masks that, that following the guidance uh, of our local health department. And so uh, we wore masks and then we discussed whether this would work for us. And another aspect of it, it of worshiping inside right now is uh, six foot distance wearing masks, which prevents the spread of uh, anyone who gets infected, because once you're infected with this virus, COVID-19, you will be up to two weeks before you'll show symptoms. So if someone's been traveling, now that people are moving around the state more and they come to worship, we need them to wear masks so that they don't accidentally spread that to another person. And sort of uh, the, the last chunk of this that made uh, it just, not really feasible for us to worship inside is that we can't sing. The, what, what the national choral organizations, the teachers of music, the scientists who study the way the uh, throat works um, are, are sharing with us over these last, it's been the last few days that this has become clarified for us, is that singing produces a lot of moisture in the air, and the virus is small enough to ride along on that moisture. And being in an enclosed space where uh, everyone is singing it is really a worst case scenario, where if one person is, is, is infected, a lot of other people can and will be infected uh, if we're all singing. And so based on looking at th what that would look like, we agreed that it would just be too annoying to try to worship inside right now. And if we're outside, we can sing. We can be six foot away from each other. We don't have to wear masks. Though The moving air is really the, the key there. We're able to gather safely because of that. Uh, the Methodist Church continues to operate its food pantry. Uh, so if you need uh, help with that, we can drop off food or put it out for delivery. Uh, we continue to be here to answer phone calls and help in any way we can. We invite the, everyone to continue to pray for uh, and be patient with the rest of our community as we are all responding to this in whatever way seems best to us, the best that we can make of this. And so uh, that this church continues to be here to serve, and I continue to be here to serve this community. I'm praying for you each and every day. Peace be with you.